Hi, welcome to another episode of Josh's Garage today. Uh, I've just picked up a, a cruise control um, f from the wreckers and um, we're going to install this. Um, saved a bit of money, um, picked it up fairly cheap from the wreckers and um, so it comes with a kit, a bit of a, um, I actually downloaded the um, instruction manual online so I've got a bit of an idea what's going on but uh, so it comes with a controller which is this one's a wireless controller that sits on the you can pretty much put this anywhere but we'll put this on the steering wheel comes with the, um, and this is out of a PK uh, Ranger from the Wreckers or a junkyard and um, it comes with this so you get the modules, kit, all the wiring and plugs so um, there's a couple of wires that you're going to have to solder in um, rejoin, but uh, we'll, we'll show you how to do it and uh, yeah, have a, have a crack at doing it yourself and save some money. Let's get into it. Alright, we come down here. So you're going to have to take this panel off anyway first, which is uh, where your fuse box is. So just undo that. That just pulls out uh, from here. We'll go have a look. Some switches. This is your main box here. And um, as you'll see, that's your clutch pedal sensor, that's your brake pedal sensor there. So the clutch will be your purple and green, but your green is not connected to anything, you're only connecting your purple one, and your purple one is connected to the green wire on the brake pedal and that will go part of the loop. You got your brown and brown so you'll have your, your two browns connected. Your brown with a white trace is connected to your white with green trace and the green with white trace is just connected to your solid brown wire and that's on your brakes and then uh, so you have to solder that into those two wires which is your, off to your harness uh, mine was supplied already with the brake pedals. All I did was solder the wires back onto the harness anyway, so um, didn't worry me. We come over, it's a bit messy here. We come over to the brake. I'll try and get a bit of a, an angle up the back here. As you can see, that there is your uh, electronic throttle sensor so you have to unplug that and um, take the four wires if, if you bought a brand new kit it will have you have to take the four wires out of that the four pins out of that plug and you will plug it into hang on, get back here you have to plug it into this here this this plug that they tee off the harness um, and then plug in the actual um, plug that is supplied that fits on there on that uh, throttle sensor up there um, up there and um, it'll plug into that TP so it goes up through that and then your actual harness what goes to your ECU will plug into this but you've got to pop the four wires out of that plug of the original plug and put it in there and um, and then you'll grab this single purple wire off the harness of the cruise control and that plugs in to your speed, this, this sensor here, which is, I'll get a bit more light there. That sensor there, which is for your accelerator pedal, that activates it, as you can see. So that, that does not get, that gets unplugged and it plugs into the purple single wire which goes to the cruise control sensor. Um, and your orange wire, get back here. We'll have a bit of a look down here now, well, it's a bit messy while well, I haven't put, packed up anything with the wiring. Yellow, I've left, it just doesn't get used. Um, these are just the examples of wires. So what I'm saying is with that big wire so that there like we, we've got these examples of they're the, they're the wires so that's your brake that would be your um, clutch wire um, plug 
your brake plug, and this is your throttle plug that uh, has to be completely unplugged and you plug into the purple. So that's the only one there. This is your uh, what I'm on about. This is the um, this is the plug. So as you can see, I've cut mine off because uh, I already had the plug um, already in the harness because it was off a, um, a record. So it was off a, re a car originally um, that they've installed. So normally if you bought a brand new kit, you'd have to pop all these four wires out of the pin locators, pull them out uh, with a special tool. And um, each one of those uh, in the diagram, uh, instruction manual for the rangers, it'll tell you which one you've got to put in. This, uh, I'll get it out. Which is that 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 that, that plug that that uh, that um, big square round plug that actually a square round plug yeah, just a square plug that uh, is activated on um, this harness that goes to the control module. You'll put them out. You'll put the same plug which is on this uh, harness that plugs in. You have to pull them out and then put it in the other one so it comes out of that back into this out of that into the plugs, it goes up to the harness. Uh, pretty straightforward. Your blue wire here. Now you'll have to look up, there's a, the biggest white plug, the biggest white plug, the, like, the largest one out of the two on the back of your cluster is, um, and this is your speed um, signal. that has to be connected to your speed signal, which will be a white, uh, sorry, dark green with red trace wire coming out of the, well, if you're looking, it's just the biggest white plug and it's gonna be the closest to the driver's door. Your orange will ju is just your ignition on. So, so find a, I've just uh, found a wire at the back of um, the fuse which activates by uh, the key to the ignition on, and that's it. Um, I'll put all that back uh, neatly up, up under the dash. Um, and we'll come back here, we'll have a look. So it comes with the cruise, I just had a bit of silicon, I'll, I'll clean that off after. So it comes with this cruise light, um, so when you activate it, and this is the control which is on the, which is just a um, three button control um, that, uh, yeah, clips onto the side of, uh, yeah, the side of it, um, of, of the steering wheel. Um, you'll have to take this airbag off, which will be that bolt above above there. That's one side, and the other side's here. And um, that that as soon as you take those two out, 10 mil they are, 10 mil. This whole steering wheel and the airbag will come out. Leave it connected, and just slide that on on the actual outside of the um, steering wheel. Um, I went for a drive just before to test it. It works. So well, um, what you do is you turn uh, turn it on, and um, you'll see that when it's activated, which is this button here, makes a beepy noise and it goes green, which is there as you can see. Um, and turn it off. It's the same thing. Press the button. Turn it off. This is wireless. Um, you will have a battery in there, which is on the side, um, which is that 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 little thing. Pull that out, and you'll see a little battery in there. Uh, be one of those little round circle camera ones um, that you can just uh, get um, every now and then. So good to keep a spare. But yeah, so wireless. You could actually stick that anywhere in the vehicle. Um, if you wanted to mount it somewhere else, you can do that. So, um, so that for a command AP nine nine hundred, um, that is the install. Pretty easy. Um, even if you're good at wiring, leave half a day to do this. Um, by the time you get in there and um, get everything out, find some wires. It's pretty tight up there to solder. Um, 
But other than that, there's a couple of wires to solder. It's pretty easy, straightforward. If you can do some soldering, this is pretty easy. Um, and then, yeah, um, test it and you'll be right. Um, if you have any drums, give us a hoy. Um, I'm happy to have got some links to uh, some uh, instruction manuals and stuff like that. Uh, if you need them too, I'll pop, I'll pop them up as well um, in the video clip. So enjoy it. Until next time.